Welcome. Please insert key card. Processing. Access to Site81's database has been granted. Secure. Contain. Protect. Item hash. SCP-3636 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, SCP-3636 is to be kept in a standard secure cell at Site-17. Access to the room requires level 2 or higher clearance. All staff members involved in the testing of SCP-3636 must be provided with an up-to-date song blacklist document. Under no circumstances are songs from the blacklist to be selected. Description SCP-3636 is a 155 cm by 85 cm jukebox similar in design to a Worldser 1015 with a decorative rainbow-colored light across the top and a golden plate bearing the inscription, World's Greatest Jukebox. The glass selection screen where one would typically find booklets detailing the songs available is instead replaced with a blue touch screen displaying a search bar and the text, search for song title, artist, or album. SCP-3636 has no slot to insert coins and has no apparent power source. Selecting a song through the search function will cause a list to appear consisting of every version of the song known to exist including unreleased early versions of the song as well as every live performance by the original artist. Analysis of live events after the Foundation's acquisition of SCP-3636 confirms that the live versions are accurate to the performance listed. SCP-3636 seems to have a wide temporal range, as original performances of operas that debuted in the Baroque period have been selected. When a song is selected, SCP-3636's screen changes to display a video with the text live music video above it. The video is based on the lyrical content of the song, often directly depicting the events mentioned in the song. Other times the events seen in the video are the result of a play on words. The events in SCP-3636 actually occur at a real-world location visible in SCP-3636's video. The phenomenon, referred to as SCP-3636-1, lasts for the length of the song. Effects of SCP-3636-1 may continue after the fact depending on the contents of the video. An instance of SCP-3636-1 is created regardless of whether the song selected has an official music video. All tests of instrumental songs so far have produced music videos without any perceived anomalous effects, for example, used by Rush shows live footage from Toronto Pearson International Airport. SCP-3636 was discovered by local firefighters during a fire at a bar in Common, New York that killed 21 individuals. The jukebox was found undamaged with the screen showing a video of the fire from the bar's exterior while playing the song We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel. Class B amnestics were administered to all survivors and first responders. Access granted test 1 song selected, Walk by Pantra SCP-3636-1 event, several people in a location confirmed to be Arlington, Texas are shown making signs for a protest. Most of the signs contain the word respect. At the start of the first chorus, a group has gathered in the city's downtown and begins marching with these signs. They collectively chant along to the chorus of the song and local news stations are shown reporting on the impromptu respect walk. Effects Participants in the protest expressed confusion over their involvement. Class A amnestics administered to everyone affected. Notes Arlington Texas is the city where Pantra was founded. SCP-3636 may be aware of this fact. Test 2 song selected, Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell SCP-3636-1 event, a tall, elderly man with pale skin and gray hair is shown breaking into Site-17, searching for and eventually spying on research assistant Kama who selected the song. Effects Elderly man disappeared at the conclusion of song and was not found after a complete search of Site 17. Damage to the side was found at the location the break-in occurred in the video and was immediately repaired. Immediately identified the man as an uncle who physically abused him as a child. 
experienced severe paranoia for a week and underwent psychological treatment. Notes, Song added to blacklist. All future tests must be carried out by D-class personnel under supervision of approved Foundation researchers. Test 3 Song Selected Jukebox Hero by Foreigner SCP-3636-1 Event SCP-3636 immediately disappeared from containment. Effects SCP-3636 found on top of an apartment building in New York City. Affixed to SCP-3636 was a cape with the words Jukebox Hero written on it. A severely malnourished man was found tied up with a rope on the same rooftop, with a written confession to several murders next to him. SCP-3636 was returned to Site-17 and the man was taken to local authorities. Notes, Extreme Deviation from the Lyrical Content of the Song Analysis of Cape reveal no unusual properties. Further searches for Jukebox Hero displayed the song in a separate list called Favorites. Test 4 Song Selected The Night Sand I Went Crazy by Weird Al Yankovic SCP-3636-1 Event A man with an appearance similar to modern depictions of Santa Claus carrying several weapons assaults a large building filled with humanoid beings that look similar to traditional depictions of Christmas elves after a large shootout and several explosions, the man executes five reindeer who display human-level intelligence. Several FBI agents later surround the man, arresting him. Effects, subject of video remains unidentified. The FBI's unusual incident unit sent Foundation contacts documents detailing the raid on the North Pole. Destroyed building consistent with the workshop depicted in the video is found six miles east of the magnetic North Pole. Notes, song added to blacklist. Test 5 song selected. Straight Through the Heart by Dio SCP-3636-1 Event A group of men similar in appearance to the band Dio appears next to SCP-3636, performing the song. A man who appears to be a young Ronnie James Dio is carrying several swords. Every time the title of the song is sung, Dio takes a sword and stabs D-75529 in the chest. D-75529 seems unharmed for the duration of the song. Effects, D-75529 died instantly from his wounds. Autopsy confirms that all nine swords went directly through the test subject's heart. Notes, test occurred after the death of Ronnie James Dio. When interviewed, none of the surviving members of Dio remember taking part in the events of the video. Test 6 Song Selected my Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion SCP-3636-1 Event A large freight ship in the Atlantic Ocean is seen hitting an iceberg. Two muscular Slavic men are seen trying to escape together, eventually they stop searching for a method of escape and stand embracing each other and kissing as the boat sinks. Effects Boat found 7 miles south of Titanic wreckage. All 43 crew members were killed. Corpses of the two men depicted in the video are found still embracing. Notes, Song added to blacklist. Test 7 Song Selected, Mean Mr. Mustard by the Beatles SCP-3636-1 Event, D-992103 is shown sleeping on a bench in a park located in Liverpool, England. D-992103's head has been replaced with a large jar of mustard. D-992103 is seen counting coins in a pile next to the bench. D-992103 eventually meets a woman with a name tag that says Pam, and the two suddenly appear outside of Buckingham Palace. Effects, D-992103 and the woman in the video are located near Buckingham Palace. The woman is identified as D-992103's actual sister. D-992103 seems to have suffered no ill effects and passed hall vision, hearing, and cognition tests despite his head still appearing to be a jar of mustard. Researchers describe D-992103 as irritable. Class B amnestics administered to D-992103's sister. Notes, D-992103 
D992103 is currently being evaluated at a Foundation Surgical Center with updates pending. Test 8 songs selected, Wonderwall by Oasis SCP-3636-1 event, screen remained blank for 5 seconds as a female voice said sorry, I don't like that song. Before returning to the search screen. Effects, no anomalous effects observed. Notes. First time SCP-3636 has refused to play a song. First instance of any direct communication with the user. Test 9 song selected, Cult of Personality by Living Color SCP-3636-1 event, video depicts several world leaders dancing, playing air guitar, and lip-syncing the lyrics to the song while in the middle of their duties. The video ends with a montage of the same world leaders making a stage dive off of a nearby desk. Effects Embedded Foundation agents and several governments confirm the events depicted in the video actually occurred. Some world leaders suffered minor injuries from their attempted stage dive. Notes Researchers noted that the song could be selected again to create blackmail material to use against anti Foundation politicians, with approval pending from the Ethics Committee. SCP-3636 added song to favorites. Test 10 song selected, Blindfold Aside by Protest the Hero SCP-3636-1 event, several executions of prisoners in different locations are depicted, with all participants wearing blindfolds. All events are interrupted by D-22091 wearing a cheap blonde wig, begging for mercy on the prisoner's behalf. All attempts fail and the prisoners are executed without complication. Effects D-22091 return to Site-17 at the end of the video. A blonde wick was discovered under his jumpsuit. All executions depicted in the video were confirmed to have taken place with no complications. Notes D-22091 was confirmed to be the only person depicted in the video with any memory of the event. Test 11 song selected, Danger. High Voltage by Electric 6 SCP-3636-1 Event, SCP-3636's containment room changes in appearance to recreate the room depicted in the original music video of the song. Two people who appear to be Electric 6 singer Dick Valentine and actress Tina Kanarik in their original costumes follow the exact choreography of the video. D-91244 is shown standing in the background holding a sign stating why change what is already perfect? Effects, no anomalous effects observed. Notes, SCP-3636 added song to favorites. Test 12 song, selected, Buddy Holly by Weezer SCP-3636-1 event, several Foundation members stationed at Site-17 are shown changing into clothing popular in the 1950s, then attending what a banner proclaims is a Buddy Holly. Mary Tyler Moore Little Egg Contest held at the Site 17 Dining Hall. Several Foundation researchers participate in the contest. The O5 Council are shown sitting at a judge's table. Doctor and research assistant are selected as the winners. Effects, events and video occurred as depicted, including transportation of entire O5 Council to Site 17. Notes, video contained many in-jokes commonly shared by Site 17 personnel. SCP-3636 may have time manipulating effects as the entire contest was held during the song's 2 minute and 40 second duration. Further testing halted by order of site director. Testing reinstated, see addendum. Access granted cover versions of any songs listed below are also blacklisted. We didn't start the fire by Billy Joel Worldwide Suicide by Pearl Jam It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. By R.E.M. I don't want to set the world on fire by the Ink Spots nuclear war, on the dance floor, by Electric Six Goodbye Blue Sky by Pink Floyd Distant Early Warning by Rush Chemical Bomb by the Aquabrots Call of Cthulhu by Metallica Countdown to Extinction by Megadeth Zombie Jamboree by Rock Capella Seven Nation Army by The White Stripes Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears Chocolate Train by Tazon Day It's Raining Men by The Weather Girls Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell The Nights and I Went Crazy by Weird Al Yankovic My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion Werewolves of London by War 
warns of Godzilla by Blue Oyster Cult Black Hole Sun by Sound Garden Addendum, on slash slash 17, SCP-3636 began playing Why Can't We Be Friends by War without any input. No staff were on hand to observe the video event corresponding to the song. Security forces entered the room after noticing the song and discovered former Foundation employee handcuffed inside the containment room. Was wanted by the Foundation for the theft of six anomalous items. The stolen items were later found to have been returned to their proper locations. A note was found in S pocket. The note read please keep the music playing, I'd rather be friends than enemies. WGJB testing resumed by order of 05. Further test results are to be documented in Experiment Log 3636. Experiment Log 3636 All researchers working with SCP-3636 should be aware of the current blacklist and take into consideration the lyrical content of any song they select. As SCP-3636 has shown the ability to select songs on its own, research is focused on gaining a better understanding of SCP-3636. Test Log Format Experiments should be written in this form. Test hash song selected, SCP-3636-1 event, effects, notes, test 13 song selected, have a cigar by Pink Floyd SCP-3636-1 event, D-71829 suddenly grows shoulder length hair and a thick mustache, his clothing also changes to a loosely fitting t-shirt and blue denim jeans. A yet-to-be-identified man in a gray suit appearing to be in his mid-sixties offers D-71829 a cigar and a bottle of champagne. D-71829 accepts them and the two begin having an unheard conversation for the duration of the song. During the final notes of the song, the man in the gray suit turns into a black Fender Stratocaster commonly used by David Gilmour in live performances. Effects D-71829 immediately began playing the guitar. D-71829 previously displayed no musical talent or interest. D-71829 now speaks exclusively in a British accent despite being of Chilean origin. Notes D-71829 has been held for further testing and is allowed usage of the guitar during daytime hours. D-71829 has repeatedly expressed concern that the Foundation will attempt to commercialize his music. Test 14 Song Selected, Let Me Clear My Throat by DJ Cool SCP-3636-1 Event, D-94812 experiences a seemingly painful coughing fit for the entirety of the song, only stopping to cheer when the song asks the listener to make some noise. At roughly two minutes into the song, a paper cone party hat materializes on D-94812's head and party balloons materialize from the ceiling. Effects All attempts to remove the party hat from D-94812 have failed, including surgical methods. D-94812 claims to feel incredibly healthy, and was confirmed to be in fine health after a standard checkup despite a previous checkup showing damage to several organs due to years of drug and alcohol abuse. D-94812 previously exhibited violent behavior and a rude and angry demeanor which has not been noted since the conclusion of the test. D-94812 began treating Foundation personnel with respect and expressed a desire to compile the ultimate party playlist for future Foundation events. Notes, Approval to create playlist granted. D-94812's termination has been suspended for further testing on possible long-term psychological and medical benefits of SCP-3636. Test 15 Song Selected Regulate by Warren G. Feetnate Dog SCP-3636-1 Event a man appearing to be a young Warren G is seen being robbed by four African-American men in modern-day Long Beach, California. A man similar in appearance to Nate Dogg arrives and kills the four men. The two then find a group of women and enter a motel as the song ends. Effects Four corpses were discovered on an abandoned lot in Long Beach. 
all four men were previously convicted for gang-related crimes. Women in the video were identified and remembered the events in the video. Class B amnestics are administered to the women involved. Notes: One woman who appeared in the video was confirmed to be pregnant, with DNA tests showing Nate Dogg as the father despite his death six years prior to the test. Warren G claimed no memory of the event after an interview. Test 16 song selected, Deacon Blues by Steely Dan SCP-3636-1 event, during the lyric This is the day of the expanding Mandy 19223 is transported into an open field outside of Malibu, California. D19223 expands to the size of a football field. The University of Alabama Crimson Tide and a seemingly fictional team referred to as the Malibu University Deacon Blues appear on top of D19223 and begin to play a game of football. The Crimson Tide win the game 34-7 and all players for the Deacon Blues disappear. Effects D19223 died of multiple organ failure immediately after the song ended. University of Alabama team was found confused. Searching for help 3 miles from D19233's corpse. Notes, amnestics distributed to all members of the University of Alabama football team as well as nearby residents who witnessed the event. D19223's body was destroyed in a story about a brush fire used as a cover. Test 17 song selected, You Suffer by Napalm Death SCP-3636-1 event. A close-up of D17891's face as they experience extreme pain immediately after selecting the song. Effects D17891 confirmed that she felt extreme pain for the song's full 1.316 second duration that immediately subsided afterwards. Notes No long-term anomalous effects apparent after a standard foundation medical examination of D17891. Test 18 song selected, Ladies Night by Cool and the Gang SCP-3636-1 event, SCP-3636 disappears from containment at the same time as four female researchers at Site-17. Effects, SCP-3636 found with the missing researchers in a pink 1979 Chrysler Cordoba parked outside of a club in Jersey City, New Jersey. SCP-3636 was discovered in the driver's seat of the car wearing a long silver dress with mascara and lipstick applied to its touchscreen. All four researchers were in similar attire and noticeably intoxicated. The researchers claimed to have partied all night with SCP-3636. Notes, SCP-3636 added song to favorites. Further research is suggested to see if SCP-3636 continues to treat itself as female in future tests. Test 19 Song Selected, Pisces by Ginger SCP-3636-1 Event, D-1879 is turned into an adult Northern Pike in SCP-3636's containment cell, after briefly laying on the floor she appears in Ukraine's Dnieper River. She swims for the duration of the song before being caught by a fisherman who proceeds to cook and eat the fish during the final minute of the song. Effects No traces of D-1879 could be found. Fisherman depicted in video was eventually located and displayed no anomalous effects. Notes Researchers have suggested that SCP-3636 may have difficulties understanding complex metaphors. Test 20 Song Selected, The Camera Eye by Rush SCP-3636-1 Event, D-12281's eyes are transformed into camera lenses. D-12281's veins and arteries temporarily become visible under her skin and are slowly replaced with what appear to be XLR cables. D-12281's fingers change in shape and coloration to appear similar to standard cardiac microphones. At roughly three minutes in the song, D-12281 appears in Midtown Manhattan and begins to spy on citizens, apparently unseen. Later in the song, D-12281's location changes to a busy area of downtown London. Effects D-12281 
11281 was eventually located in London and returned to Foundation custody. Amnestics distributed to affected neighborhood as a cautionary measure. Notes, Surgical analysis of D11281 is pending. Test 21 song selected, Endless Forms Most Beautiful by Nightwish SCP-3636-1 event, no effects independently observed. Video starts with a microscopic shot of what seems to be a colony of primordial organisms before quickly zooming out, and presumably accelerating time, to reveal a seabed populated by numerous species of arthropod analogs, similar to those associated with Earth's Cambrian period. View then zooms to many areas of an undocumented Earth-like planet, occasionally accelerating time to showcase the evolution of life on the world. Video ends showing a tribe of hominid analogs, focusing on one which repeatedly strikes two rocks together, seemingly to observe the resultant sparks. Effects No persistent effects can be observed at this time. However, the continued existence of the planet shown in the video or life on it cannot be ruled out. Notes, this one isn't quite blacklisted, but further testing with it will require O5 approval. Dr. Sutherland test 22 song selected, Song of Bryn and Luthien, by Aragorn, son of Arathorn. SCP-3636-1 event, the live music video banner did not appear. Video depicted an individual resembling actor Viggo Mortensen singing a capella as a serenade to an unknown, non-human individual apparently female. The first individual is noted to have gray eyes and a more athletic build than Mortensen, and the female has pointed ears and is very pale. At the end of the video, the pair share a kiss. Effects Following playback, search engines recorded a spike in searches for Bryn and Luthien, and other terms related to the Lord of the Rings and J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle-earth. Beyond this, no effects have been observed. Test 23 Song Selected 4 minutes 33 seconds, by John Cage SCP-3636-1 event, screen displayed static for duration of the song. Effects, all sound within test chamber was nullified. Notes, so I guess it doesn't really qualify as instrumental. Maybe SCP-3636 imagined it being performed by a singer? Dr. N test 24 song selected, devoured by vermin. By Cannibal Corpse SCP-3636-1 event, D-27542 immediately disappeared from sight, and reappeared on video in an undisclosed location. Various vermin is shown approaching him on ground, and various insects are shown approaching in the air. Subject appears to have the powers possessed by the current host of SCP-027. 33 seconds into the song, Subject is completely covered by vermin, and is not seen for the rest of the video. More vermin continues to approach for the duration of the video. Effects Subject found in V. Lichtenstein 4 hours after the SCP-3636-1 event. Subject found completely covered in vermin. Subject terminated. Notes Song added to blacklist. Test 25 Song selected. Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley SCP-3636-1 event, D-29234 vanishes, and is shown on video at the London underpass where a portion of the song's official video was filmed. He is dressed in Astley's outfit from that shoot a tan long coat over a black shirt and slacks. He sings the lyrics to a blonde woman standing next to him, while performing dance moves similar to Astley's. The woman responds positively to his affections, and at the end of the video, D-29234, sweeps her into his arms. Effects, D-29234 is found at the same underpass with his head and his hands, weeping openly and muttering she looked just like her. The woman depicted in the video is found several blocks away. When interviewed by personnel. She reports that D-29234 broke down inconsolably at the exact moment the song finished. The woman and all other witnesses to the SCP-3636-1 event are given Class A amnestics. Notes, D-29234 had a prior conviction for the murder of an ex-girlfriend, 
who was similar in appearance to the woman depicted in the SCP-3636-1 event. Based on its past behavior, it is believed that SCP-3636 was acting out of a terribly misguided sense of kindness. Test 26 Song Selected Ode to a Superhero by Weird Al Yankovic SCP-3636-1 Event the video appeared in the form of a montage depicting reenactments of various events from the 2002 film adaptation of Spider-Man, as described in the song. While all extras and background characters were portrayed by actual, contemporary residents of New York City, all principal characters which appeared in the montage were portrayed by exact duplicates of their respective actors as they appeared during the time period that the movie was filmed in. Effects Amnestics distributed to witnesses and non-anomalous participants. The Kirsten Dunst, James Franco, and Rosemary Harris duplicates, as well as the cadavers of the Cliff Robertson and Willem Dafoe duplicates, were located and taken into Foundation custody. Medical testing confirmed them to be genetically identical to the original actors, and interviews revealed that both individuals had memories corresponding to the character they portrayed. Mary Jane Watson and Harry Osborne, respectively, and believe themselves to be that character. A search for the individuals corresponding to the other principal characters is still ongoing, and it is not yet known if the duplicate of Toby McGuire possesses the same anomalous abilities as his character. Notes: An accidental second selection of this song caused the duplicates to revert to the same physical states and locations as in the beginning of the first music video after which they reenacted all the same events exactly identically. The specimens within Foundation custody show no memory of having gone through these same events twice. It's only been, what, a few days. I'm sure he'll turn up soon enough. A real live Spider-Man would be hard to miss. Researcher Lee Test 27 song selected, Woodpecker No. 1 by Merzbo SCP-3636-1 event. D21512 vanishes, and is seen in the video. The video consists of an abandoned, dirty room with windows and television displaying several flashing colors and bright and oversaturated imagery. D21512 is seen in some of the imagery. Effects The room was found in, redacted, however, D21512 was never found. The television in the room was taken for investigation. Test 28 Song Selected, Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen SCP-3636-1 Event Assistant researcher Thompson is showed dressed in similar clothing that Carly Rae Jepsen wore in the music video. Agent Hendricks was also present, and was assisting assistant researcher Thompson who was observing him from behind fanning herself nervously. They converse and assistant researcher Thompson hands a folded piece of paper to Agent Hendricks before quickly leaving. Effects. Interview with assistant researcher Thompson confirmed that she was attracted to Agent Hendricks, and wanted to be in communication with him but was anxious. Both have memories of the interaction, and Agent Hendricks had the folded paper in his pocket. On it was the personal phone number of assistant researcher Thompson. Notes. A second viewing showed a pair of different individuals, and they were depicted in similar circumstances. Both of the individuals were identified and recalled their interaction, though they initially thought it was a dream. SCP-3636 has also added the song into its favorites. Test 29 Song Selected, Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger by Daft Punk SCP-3636-1 Event, The Creation Process of Members from Mobile Task Force Tau-5, Samsara, is displayed. Effects the newly made clones had the most recent memories of Tau-5 and expressed confusion. It was reported that Tau-5 who was stationed at, redacted, collapsed and ceased all functions. Cause is currently unknown. Test 30 Song Selected, Flamingo by Caro Caro Benito SCP-3636-1 Event, D-20357 disappeared for the duration of this test. The display showed her within the Site 17 cafeteria, sitting at a table. In front of her was a large bowl of raw shrimp, which she proceeded to eat in its entirety. Other personnel were present in the cafeteria at the time, but seemed to not notice D20357. Over the course of the video, 
D20357 skin gradually becomes a bright pink hue. Effects D20357 skin remain the pink hue after the test ended. Analysis of her skin showed large amounts of crotoids present. Despite this, D20357 showed no negative effects from the large amount of shrimp consumed. Test 31 Song Selected I'd Do Anything for Love, But I Won't Do That by Meatloaf with Patty Russo SCP 3636 One Event Staff Sergeant Julia Jinxie Penlin, assigned to base security and not previously aware of SCP-3636's anomalous properties, disappears from SCP-3636's containment room. On SCP-3636's screen, SSGT Penlin reappears in a hallway at site standing next to a similarly relocated Dr. Gerald. Effects, Data Expunged Complete loss of sight and all assigned personnel via massive containment breach of several Keter class entities, requiring the last resort emergency detonation of Site S nuclear warhead. Unusual in being one of the few SCP 3636 1 events to employ the interscene digitic trope, where the events at site are interspersed with scenes of singers Meatloaf and Patty Russo in a hitherto unreleased live studio recording session from 2013. Notes, Staff Sergeant Penlin and Dr. Gerald survived the mass containment breach and subsequent total loss of sight, comma, having made their escape riding tandem on a motorcycle from the site's motor pool and barely managing to clear the blast radius. Neither party was previously acquainted with the other, nor had they ever been assigned to or visited site prior to its destruction. Song has been recommended for blacklist. Test 32 Song Selected, Super Mario Bros. Theme, Ground by Koji Kondo SCP-3636-1 event, the video showed 80% of personnel at Site-77 dancing to the rhythm of the song, and then personnel heading to the site cafeteria and consuming their supply of mushrooms. Effects, due to the lack of watch on several SCP items, there was a high-level breach at Site-77. All personnel below Level 4 clearance were given amnestics. Notes. Song added to SCP-3636's blacklist, along with Site Director Gillespie issuing punishment for the personnel who played this on SCP-3636. Test 33 Song Selected, Act 1 Scene 1, Regression by Dream Theater SCP-3636-1 Event, After the Introduction of the Song D21928 vanishes and is shown in the music video lying in a therapy office, where he begins vocalizing the words in the song. After the song ends, the rest of the album begins playing with no way of stopping it. The video continues to portray the entire album in its original sequence. Effects, just before the album finishes, D21928 is killed by the same therapist from the beginning as he says open your eyes, Nicholas. SCP-3636's screen only shows static after the final song ends. D21928 does not return, and the whereabouts of the location of his teleportation is unknown. Notes Lyrical and story research on the full album that this song originated lines up with the scenes shown in the music video with D21928. Any attempt to start the album from one of the tracks in the middle forces the first song to play. Test 34 Song Selected, Po Crap by 4Kids Entertainment SCP-3636-1 Event, Music Video follows an identical format to the Po Crap's actual music video. However all named Pokemon are replaced with SCP objects roughly equivalent to the creature in question. For example, number 006, Jurizard, shows SCP-1762, number 052, Meowth, shows SCP-529, number 97, Hypno, shows SCP-4666, number 130, Gyarados shows SCP-169 and number 149, Dragonite, shows SCP-682. In the chorus, various staff members from Site-17 are shown attempting to catch, contain, the objects in question. Effects, 
a massive containment breach occurred as the music video was playing. Full containment re-established after 42 hours. Notes, song added to SCP-3636's blacklist. Test 35 song selected, Prayer of the Refugee by Rise Against SCP-3636-1 Event. D-38452 disappears and is shown in an unidentified superstore. D-38452 begins pacing down aisles, lip-syncing to the song, consistent to the original music video, while multiple customers and staff of Hispanic and Arabic descent are shown assuming a prayer position respective to their religions for the duration of the event. Effects D-38452 was later discovered at a local Walmart in Kama and was returned to Foundation custody. All customers and staff present during the event were questioned, amnested, and released. All video surveillance footage of the event were taken by Foundation personnel and wiped from the store's records. Notes, during questioning, the individuals shown praying during the event were identified as legal immigrants who moved to America in search of employment.